Sky Savers. Welcome back to my channel or welcome. I'm Kim and this is World of Sky, a world for women and moms looking to save money and get the most bang for your buck. And today we're talking all about how to plan cheap meals on a budget. Okay, so first things first, when we're talking about budgeting out our meals and how to create affordable meals for our families, we have to talk about meal planning. I know, I know, I know it is the worst. I know everyone's like, I don't want a meal plan. I don't feel like doing that. It's too much work, but it is work. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it is work, but it will save you money and, and will help keep you on track for staying within your budget. So in this video, we're gonna talk about two main strategies that you can use to plan cheap meals. The first thing is shopping the sales ad. So I'm gonna give you some tips and some tricks on how to read the sales ad like an expert and how to maximize your savings. And I will also walk you through a sales ad and show you how you can create some cheap meals. The second strategy is to teach you how to use ingredients that can be used in several different meals and also in several different ways. So I'll share with you some ways that you can stock up in those items and then a good list of multi-purpose items that you should always have. Before we jump into the meat of this video, no pun intended with the meat and the meal planning, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you have not done so already. Trust me, your purse, your wallet, your bank account will thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about this first strategy of shopping the sales ads. Here are some tips on how to do that. So the purpose of shopping the sales ad is to plan your meals around what's on sale because what is on sale is cheaper, it's more affordable, probably in season produce. You want to see what's on sale and then plan your meals around that. So you can find the sales ad in printed form in a newspaper or in store. Also, you can find these sales ad digitally on the store's website or there's different apps that compile all of the store's weekly ads in one place and those are really nice too. So for me, online access is the quickest, right? It's the easiest way to access a sales ad. But for me, nothing beats like an actual hard copy sales ad that you can circle what you need, draw lines, <laughs> whatever it is. You have a whole piece of artwork when you're done planning for your meals. But then you can take that ad with you, go to the store and do your shopping right off the ad. Whichever format you prefer, digital or paper, these principles that I'm going to share will work with either one. The first thing is the best prices are where? The front page. Hands down, the best prices are listed on the front page, y'all. Stores put the best prices for that week on the front to bring you on in. They want to draw you into their store. So there is a marketing tactic behind them putting the best prices on the front. They hope that once you get into their store, you'll pick up a few other things. But we here on this channel are on a budget and we are trying to create affordable meals and not go outside of our budget. So we're not picking up any additional things. We're only going to get the things that we need from the store. So you want to see how many dinners you can create from those items that are in sale from that front page only, especially for dinner, right? Because dinner is our most expensive meal. So, I challenge you, I challenge you to create at least half of your dinners for that week from that front page only, at least half. And I will be walking through an example later of how to do that. The next place that you wanna look for are kind of like the second best prices, if you will, is the fold over of the ad. So you have kind of like the big ad and then you know the pages that fold in that are kind of like half pages, that's what I'm talking about. Typically they will put the second best price items for the week in those spots. So looking in those spots, see if you can create two additional meals for your week. So you have half of your meals from the front page, and then we're going to try to find two additional meals that we can make using the second best price items in the ad for that week. Now let's jump to the middle of the ad. This is where you want to be leery about some of the stuff that's listed in the ad. Not so much leery, but just pay close attention to, is that item really on sale? Sometimes the things in the middle of the ad are there to fill out the ad, right? And they are listed to promote the product, but those products aren't on sale. If you pay attention to the price, you will see that the product is actually not on sale. You, of course, want to stay away from these type of products. We're only looking for products that are on sale. Now, you can find some good deals within the middle of the ad because, of course, the store cannot put everything on the front page of the ad or in kind of like those inner folds. So they do need to put some of the good deals within uh, the middle of the ad, but be cautious. So take a little bit more time in the middle of the ad to be diligent about seeing if the item is really on sale. Do some price comparing as well. 
to some other stores and see what they have on sale for that week. You may have to go to multiple different stores. So into the middle of the ad at your own risk. See what you can find. You may be able to score some good deals, but do not go over your budget. Don't get things that are not in your budget. And this last tip, no matter where you are shopping for in that ad, make sure that you are reading the fine print. Beware if there's a limit on the number of items that you can buy that are on sale. So sometimes it's a really, really good deal, right? But it's limited to two or three items. You wanna know that information before you go in there. That way you're not picking up more than the limit and end up paying full price. Also take note if that limit is per transaction or is it per household per day? That will make a difference because if it's per transaction, you can split your grocery order up into multiple transactions to maximize your savings if you need more than say the two that are limited. Uh, but if it's per day, then you would have to go back multiple days, may or may not be worth it to you. You can obviously decide that for yourself, but just be aware before you go to the store. Also pay attention to the must buy quantity. So must buy four to get this deal or must buy five. You wanna make sure that one, you need that many of that product, but two, that you are meeting the must buy requirement in order to get the sale price. Because if you don't meet that requirement, then oftentimes the items are full price or they're definitely more than you intended to pay. And that is a quick way to blow your budget. Okay, so now let's take a look at this sales ad. Let's see what type of meals and things that we can come up with for our family for one week using just the items that are on sale. Sales ad for this week for a grocery store in my area. Let's take a look, let's see what's on sale, and then we will create some dinners based off the items that we find in this ad. So the first thing that is jumping out to me on the screen is the skinless chicken breast here for $1.99 a pound. So you may wanna grab a few pounds of those. They have some shrimp, buy one, get one free here. Um, as we scroll down, we see the ground turkey is only $1.99 a pound, a limit of four. So that's what I was talking about with those limits. Make sure that you're paying attention to those. Then over here, they also have some Italian sausage or brats um, for buy one, get one free. So we can possibly use some of these meats to create some meals for the week. Over to the right here, they have cheese slices for only 99 cents, but it is a limit of one. But still, make sure you get that one pack of cheese slices for only a dollar. They have some corn for 10 cents each, limit of 15. Here we have some different cheeses. So we have the shredded cheese or the chunk cheese is three for five. Here we have bread, buy one, get one free, all different types of bread there. So that's a good option. We have some tortilla chips and salsa, buy one, get one free, buy one, get one free on the barbecue sauce. Here they have some freshly sliced ham from the deli, $4.99 a pound. Uh, we're gonna skip through the alcohol. Let's see what else that we can find. Under the grocery section, they have some buns, two for four, different type of bread for $1.99. They have this Italian bread, buy one and get one free. So those are several different options for bread. We have some baked beans, three for $5. Tuna, 10 for 10. Different condiments on sale. We have some marinades, two for four. So you can use those to maybe marinate your chicken breast that we saw at the front of the ad. What else can we find here? This is the produce section. Let's see what they have. Um, not a lot. It doesn't look like they have a lot of produce on sale this week. So you may want to lean on some frozen veggies or some canned veggies as a substitute to the fresh produce for the week unless you can find something on sale when you go in store. Here we have the bakery. We're going to skip over those because we are trying to make meals, not snacks. Okay, as we continue to scroll down, this is kind of like the frozen food section. I don't see much there. Here they have um, the store brand hamburger and hot dog buns, three for $5. Um, some chips, two for four. We see this deal again down here, this shredded and chunk cheese, three for five. We have some pasta here for 99 cents. Um, also some pasta sauce for $2.49. So we can use that in a meal. If you prefer egg noodles, they have those as well, four for five. What else can we find? Some pasta sauce here, two for four, or salad dressing, so we can definitely use those in the meals. Different type of pasta sauce, two forty nine. dollars They have some rice here, ready rice, so that could be an option. 
They also have this Camel's Chunky Soup or the Well Yes Soup for, for $5. So that is a really good deal. Like $1.25 a can and those are the larger cans of soup. So you can definitely do something with that. We have the Hunt's Pasta Sauce over here. We have some potatoes that we could make to go as a side with some of our meals. And that gets into the health and beauty section. So we won't go into there. So we've taken a look and we've seen kind of what's on sale. Let's now try to create some dinners out of the sales ad items. Okay, so here are some meal ideas for you and your family. These meals will make four servings, so they will feed a family of four. If your family is larger, you will need more. And if your family is smaller or you need less than four servings, and maybe you can use these dinner ideas for two nights in a row, or you can use your leftovers for lunch the next day. We have five different dinner options available. So dinner number one is chicken breast with rice and a frozen veggie. The chicken breasts are on sale for $1.99 a pound. We're going to grab two of those. Rice, $2. You could, they didn't have anything on in the sales ad for rice, but typically you can find it for under $2. Or you may already have some rice in your pantry. Same with frozen veggies, around $2 or less oftentimes. And then they had bread on sale, two loaves for $3. So the total dinner cost is $10.98. Dinner number two is turkey burgers with corn and baked beans. They had the ground turkey on sale, $1.99 a pound. They had cheese slices for 99 cents. Corn on the cob was 10 cents each. We're gonna just grab 10 of those and round that out for an even dollar. Um, the buns for your burgers, they had them on sale two for $4. And then the baked beans were on sale for $1.67. So dinner number two comes out to a total of $9.65. Dinner number three is nachos with turkey meat. So they, again, they had the ground turkey. We're gonna use that again for a different meal, $1.99 a pound. Tortilla chips, they had them for $1.99. They are buy one, get one free, so $3.99 for two bags. And then you'll need some produce to go on top of your nachos, whether it's lettuce, tomatoes, cilantro, onion, jalapenos, whatever you like to put on top of your nachos. Let's just say that that stuff costs you $4. And then they had shredded cheese on sale from $167. So dinner number three comes in at a total cost of $9.65. Dinner number four is pasta with Italian sausage and veggies. They had the Italian sausage on sale for $3. It was buy one, get one free. They had pasta on sale for $0.99. Cents. Pasta sauce for $2. And then you'll need some veggies, whatever veggies you like to throw into your pasta. Let's say that you spend $3 on that, whether that's for a green pepper, a red pepper, um, some type of onion or spinach. This total meal will cost you around $8.99. And our last meal is soup and sandwiches. So very simple, but a good filling meal. The soup they had on sale four for $5, so that's a really good deal. The bread is going to cost you nothing because you have bread from dinner one, um, which was with your chicken and rice, or you can use the buns that you had with your turkey burger. So either one. Same with cheese slices, not costing you any additional money because you can use them from the cheese slices that you had from dinner two. And then lastly, you will need some kind of lunch meat and they had that on sale for $4.99 a pound. So soup and sandwiches, dinner number five comes out to $9.99. So as you can see, just from this one sales ad, we've created five different dinners for all of them were under um, $11 for four servings. Most of them are actually under $10. So you can definitely create healthy, tasty meals um, at an affordable cost if you are on a budget just by strictly shopping the sales ad. And we've done that here today. Before we move into strategy number two, I wanna let you know that I do have another video all about how you can save money at the grocery store. So check that out if you're looking for other tips and tricks to save money while grocery shopping. If you have learned something thus far and you found this video helpful, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. The second strategy is to get ingredients that can be used for multiple meals and in multiple different ways. You ever open your pantry or open your cabinets and you find the most random combination of items and you like well, what am I supposed to make with this what am I supposed to do with these items I know I've been there and I just had to figure out a better way and so I'm gonna share my better way with you guys today you want to have your multi-purpose items 
on stock in your pantry, in your cabinet, in your fridge at all times, okay? These items are essential to have in your kitchen if you are preparing meals. You wanna make sure that you have them on hand. Of course, these type of items will vary per family and per household based on your diet and restrictions and things of that nature. But whatever those items are for you, make sure you got them and make sure you maintain them at all times in your house. Some examples of items that you can use of multiple different meals and multiple different ways include chicken broth, pasta noodles, all different type of noodles, red or white pasta sauce, some frozen veggies, some frozen chicken, some white or some brown rice, whatever your preference is. Just on those ingredients that I listed alone, you can make like five or six meals on those ingredients by themselves. So you see where I'm going with this? Usually your multi-purpose items have a longer shelf life. So like I mentioned, the pasta, the pasta sauce, the chicken broth, those have a longer shelf life. So because of that, stock up, girl, stock up. You hear me? Stock up when those things are on sale. If you see a 10 for 10 sale, grab you 10. If you see something that normally would cost $3.50 and it's on sale for two bucks, grab a few of those. Just don't go too crazy with that. Make sure that you're only grabbing what you know you can use before those items expire. There are different sales that happen throughout the year like National Canned Food Month, National Hot Breakfast Food Month, uh, National Dairy Food Month, okay? So during those months, stores have some great sales on different types of items. Those may be the times that you want to stock up throughout the year. I do have a video about those type of sales and other type of shopping sales that go on throughout the year. So you can check that out if you're interested in learning more about when those sales occur, but those could also help you with um, stocking up on your multi-purpose items. Not only is having all your multi-purpose items on stock just straight up convenient, right? But it's also less costly because it, it'll help you eliminate those last minute shopping trips that can be expensive because now you need X, Y, and Z ingredients, but they're all full price and nobody has them on sale. So you're paying more money if you're doing it this way. So here's an example of some multi-purpose items that you can have in your pantry or have in your cabinet at all times. Again, this is just a suggested list. Um, your diet may vary. There may be things on here that you don't like, um, and that's totally fine. But here's some ideas to get you thinking of what are those things that I use frequently in a lot of my meals that I never seem to have on hand when I need them. Those are the things that you want to put on your multi-purpose list. So we have chicken and beef stock or broth, pasta, spaghetti sauce, diced tomatoes, tomato sauce or tomato paste, salt, garlic, various seasonings, so whatever seasonings you like, peanut butter, pancake mix, chickpeas, cream of chicken soup, cream of rice soup, cream of celery soup, cream of mushroom soup, whatever one you like, instant oats, pie filling, canned beans, microwave popcorn, breadcrumbs, sauces, so your hot sauce, barbecue sauce, soy sauce, oils, olive oil, vegetable oil, coconut oil, your vinegars, balsamic vinegar, apple vinegar, white vinegar, minute rice, brown rice, white rice, gravy, cooking wine, vanilla, flour, you know, for some of your baking goods, baking soda, baking powder, brown sugar, white sugar, powdered sugar, chocolate chips, cocoa, baking powder. Whatever type of food you like to prepare for you and your family that you cook a lot of, have those ingredients on hand and ready to go. That's the moral of the story. Okay, so those are two strategies that you can use to create some cheap meals for you and your family. I hope that you found them helpful. Okay. Before you go, please make sure that you do subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and are pertaining to saving you money in some fashion. That is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you in my next video. Happy saving.